Hi! In this video, I will be demonstrating how to compute the Pearson correlation coefficient if we are given the raw data. This statistic is one of the many coefficients used to describe bivariate relationship, but it is also the most frequently encountered one. For our first example, let's consider example 6.1. A researcher wants to measure the correlation between the height in centimeters and weight in grams of his rats. The following data were gathered from six rats available in his laboratory. Compute the correlation coefficient of the data. To compute the correlation coefficient, we need to create this table, which is the set of data listed in the given, to identify the following information. N, which is the sample size, and is equal to 6 because we have 6 pairs of observations, the summation of x, the summation of y, the summation of x squared, the summation of y squared, and the summation of x times y. When making the table, make sure that the dataset is correctly paired based on the given. So 12 is paired by 18 here, 10 is paired with 17, and so on. Next, we fill in every cell in the third column by squaring the values of x. That is, 12 squared is equal to 144. 10 squared is equal to 100. 14 squared is equal to 196. 11 squared is equal to 121. 12 squared is equal to 144. And 9 squared is equal to 81. Then, we fill in every cell in the fourth column by squaring the values of y. Therefore, 18 squared is equal to 324. 17 squared is equal to 289. 23 squared is equal to 529. 19 squared is equal to 361. 20 squared is equal to 400 and 15 squared is equal to 225. Then, we fill in every cell in the fifth column by multiplying the values of x and y. That is, 12 times 18 is equal to 216. 10 times 17 is equal to 170. 14 times 23 is equal to 322. 11 times 19 is equal to 209. 12 times 20 is equal to 240. And 9 times 15, which is equal to 135. Using the table, we get the sum of each column. That is, 12 plus 10 plus 14 plus 11 plus 12 plus 9, this is equal to 68. 68 here is the summation of x. Next, 18 plus 17 plus 23 plus 19 plus 20, plus 15, that is equal to 112. This is the summation of y. Next, 144 plus 100 plus 196 plus 121 plus 144 plus 81, that is equal to 786. This is the summation of x squared. 
Next, 324 plus 289 plus 529 plus 361 plus 400 plus 225. That is equal to 2,128, which is equal to the summation of y squared. Finally, we have 216 plus 170 plus 322 plus 209 plus 240 plus 135 that is equal to 1,292. That is equal to the summation of x times y. Finally, using this information, we solve the value of R using the formula R is equal to N times the summation of X times Y minus the summation of X times the summation of Y all over the square root of n times the summation of x squared minus the square of the summation of x times n times the summation of y squared minus the square of the summation of y. We substitute the values and we get n which is equal to 6. The summation of x times y is equal to 1,292 minus the summation of x, which is 68, times the summation of y, which is 112, square root of n, which is 6, times the summation of x squared, which is 786, minus uh, the summation of x, which is equal to 68, and we square it, times n, that is 6, times the summation of y squared, which is 2,128, minus the summation of y squared, which is 112 squared. Using our calculator, we compute the value of R, and this is about 0 0.95. Using this table, we interpret the coefficient. 0 0.95 belongs in this interval. Therefore, the Pearson correlation coefficient, which is about 0 0.95, indicates a very strong positive linear correlation between the height and weight. This means that as the height of the rats increases, the weight may also increase. Note that different books have different table of interpretation. In our case, we will use this one. For our next example, let's consider example 6.2. Compute the correlation coefficient of the data below where x represents the number of absences of a student and y represents his or her grades. So the first step is to create this table to identify the values of n, which is equal to 6 because we have 6 pairs of observation, the summation of x, the summation of y, the summation of x squared, the summation of y squared, and the summation of x times y. Then, we fill in every cells in the fourth column by squaring the values of x. That is, 2 squared is equal to 4, 1 squared is equal to 1, 7 squared is equal to 49, 3 squared is equal to 9, 5 squared is equal to 25, and 0 squared is equal to 0. Next, we fill in 
every cell in the fourth column by squaring the values of y, that is 76 squared is equal to 5,776. 96 squared is equal to 9,216. 65 squared is equal to 4,225. 79 squared is equal to 6,241. 71 squared is equal to 5,041. And 88 squared is equal to 7,744. Then we multiply x and y to fill in every cell in this last column. That is 2 times 76 is equal to 152. 1 times 96 is equal to 96. 7 times 65 is equal to 455. 3 times 79 is equal to 237. 5 times 71 is equal to 355. And 0 times 88 is equal to 0. Using the table, we now get the sum of each column. That is 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 5 plus 0. That is equal to 18, which is the summation of x. 76 plus 96 plus 65 plus 79 plus 71 plus 88, that is equal to 475, which is equal to the summation of y. 4 plus 1 plus 49 plus 9 plus 25 plus 0, that is equal to 88, which is the summation of x squared. 5,776 plus 9,216 plus 4,225 plus 6,241, plus 5,041, plus 7,744, that is equal to 38,243, which is equal to the summation of y squared. And finally, 152 plus 96 plus 455 plus 237 plus 355 plus 0, that is equal to 1,295, which is equal to the summation of x times y. Using this formula, we substitute all the values. So we have 6 for our n, 1,295 as our summation of x times y, minus 18 times 475, divided by the square root of 6 times 88 minus 18 squared, 6 times 38,243 minus 475 squared. Using our calculator, we get the answer, which is about negative 0.88. Checking our table, negative 88 is here. Therefore, the degree of correlation is very strong negative correlation. Which means, the more absences that you have, the more likely your grades will be lower. And there you have it. That is how you solve the Pearson correlation coefficient. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.